What's up, Coach? Coach Mendez here with Championship Hoops. Today I got a great video for you on how to attack a 1-3-1 zone. If you haven't already, I suggest that you take a look at our previous video as to how our team likes to attack a 1-3-1 zone. This season, we've somehow had to go up against this defense a whole lot. So it's forced us to be more creative and think of different ways for our offense to be successful against this defense. So let's get right into it. So as I stated earlier, you really want to go back and watch our previous video as to how we attack a 1-3-1 zone. It'll give you our basics and our, our regular concepts of what it is we're trying to accomplish when we see this defense. But this is just a small wrinkle that we throw in there along with all of our other rules that we use to attack a 1-3-1 zone. So our basic setup is still the same. We're going to split this top defender with a two guard front. We'll have two guards on the wings, we'll have two guards in the corner, and we'll have somebody in the high post. Now this wrinkle that we like to use is, let's say the ball is on this right wing. So the opposite corner offensive player wants to duck in behind that zone. And what he's doing is, he's putting a ton of stress on this backside defender. So the ball is here. This normal rotation, this guy would drop into this hole, but now he's creating a long closeout for this player on the wing. So it's very important that you want to put really good shooters right here in these two spots, especially when you're running this concept. Now, this continues even on the other side. So if the ball was on this side, this player would then have to relocate back to their corner, and the opposite corner would have to duck in and it just keeps going, it's a flow. Every time the ball is skipped to one side, if you are on the ball side, you need to be in the corner. If you are the opposite of the ball, you need to be ducking in. And it's like they're moving on a string. Now that we've kind of talked about this basic wrinkle of how we attack a 1-3-1 zone, let's go ahead and look at some game film. Here we're already setting up the defense. We actually duck behind and hit this player. Put your shooters on the wing. The backside defender is worried about the duck in. Because we're ducking in on the backside, we create a long closeout for a shooter. This is just a great play. We actually hit the duck in who throws it back out to the shooter for the three. We stress the backside defender so much with the duck in, we get a wide open three. I love this play because you see that backside defender trying to defend both the duck in and the shooter and he can't. This is a great play by our guard attacking the gap and hitting that duck in player. He's so worried about the duck in defender that he doesn't want to rotate over and stop the ball. This is just great basketball. Here you see us nail and flank them but you see it happen with our nail and our duck in player. The stress on the backside defender creates a wide open shot for our wing shooter. See now that backside defender is worried about our shooter, but he can't guard both, so it still leads to a wide open three. I hope this is a small wrinkle that could help you and your team. It definitely helped us out a whole lot this season. It's something that I'll always do moving forward. And the last thing that I'll leave you with is be sure you're shooting the ball in practice. The more confident your team is in shooting the basketball, they're going to be able to handle any zone defense that they come across. I appreciate you for watching, Coach. Have a good one.